Well, it is finally time for me to review and reveal this boat. I know it's been a long time coming, but this is the new Butterboat 2.0. It's replacing the Zodiac 350 Cadet inflatable boat that I had. That was made out of PVC. This one is made out of a hard plastic, similar material that you would find in a, in a kayak. And it's very similar to an inflatable boat in that it's hollow inside and it's filled with foam. So in case I get swamped by a wave when I'm out in the ocean, I don't have to worry about sinking. This thing is going to stay afloat. I added these bow rails, got bow rails, bow rails, bow rails. I always get that word confused, but now I've got six rod holders. This is stainless steel. Um, I've got a downrigger on that side. I've got a fish finder here, got my cameras here. Uh, there's a little storage compartment up here. I'm really excited about this boat. This boat is a fishing machine. So let me hop inside and show you what I've got going on in there. So for a while when I was using this boat, I didn't have a seat. It's nice, it's really roomy, especially with this cutout pattern on the sides. You can fit six people in here. It's rated for 540 kilograms. So I was out here a lot. It's, it's kind of a rough ride with this hard material, but you do have a little, little back. But I added this stadium seat, got a little armrest, and man, this thing is comfortable. I could stay out in the water all day with this thing. So an option that you can choose to get with this boat is a little seat and container here. I have all my fishing gear here. Got a bunch of tackle boxes, swim baits. Got the battery for my fish finder up there. Got a bunch of, bunch of things, all the safety gear, the flares, the air horn. So that's really nice to have. Keeps everything nice and clear. The only thing that I had a problem with originally with this boat was the gas tank. I've got a 6.6 .6 gallon gas tank and I was keeping it here. I was just keeping it right in the middle of the boat, but that was taking up too much room. So I built this little inf uh, PVC pipe holder and now the gas tank is all the way in the front and it's a space that I would never really use. So it's going to a good purpose right there in the front. So this is the little thing that I built to fit the gas tank up here. There's these PVC pipes that fit into the notches and I drilled a hole in the PVC pipe and melted the edges, melted the side and just bent it to conform to the size of the gas tank. Up here, we've got a nice little storage compartment. Let's see what's in there. So I keep all the things to tie the boat to the dock. And I've also got a cast net in there, some rags, really nice, got cup, cup holders too. This is the seat and you can keep a bunch of stuff in here. Really roomy. There's the wires to my fish finder. Got my fish finder going right there. So it's far enough away from me. So when I'm sitting here, I don't have to be looking down. I can keep my eyes on the horizon. Just take a glance at it over there. And the screen is super bright. It's the Garmin Striker 4 Plus. It's been working well. Let me show you where the transducer is mounted. So over here is the transom of the boat. There's this aluminum sheet metal. And on the bottom, it, it bends out a little bit like that. So what I did was I just drilled some holes into the metal and that's where the transducer is mounted. Just gotta make sure that it's all level. This is a 20 horsepower Yamaha motor. It's a long shaft. And I added this uh, hydrofoil. This really helps get on plane a lot faster. So all the water being pushed out by the propeller gets pushed up against this and it raises the front of the boat or it lowers the front of the boat faster than if you did not have that. That's a great addition, it costs 50 bucks. So you're probably wondering how much it costs for a boat like this. Well, this boat, the 370 version, which is 12 foot two inches, costs about 2,900 to 3,200 brand new, which is an amazing deal in my opinion, when you consider some of these kayaks cost like 2,000 bucks. So you can get a boat like this that goes 25 miles per hour, 25 miles per hour. Not too bad for a $3,000 boat, but if you want to go 25 miles per hour, then you've obviously got to get a motor. So this motor costs about the same as the boat. 2800 I believe. I got it from Kaplan Marine in Richmond, California. He's got the best deal on Yamahas, I swear. If you ever need a Yamaha outboard, brand new, Kaplan Marine. That's the guy. He's going to save you like three or four hundred bucks off any outboard motor that you find. So if you're like me, you probably had no idea that this Whaley boat even existed, this hard plastic type of boat. And that's because there are no retailers except one in the United States, I believe. This is shipped from the Netherlands. Shipping was pretty expensive. So if you're considering a boat like this, you gotta add shipping into the cost. But there's one retailer in Florida that sells these Whaley boats, I believe. And that's where I had it shipped from. 
they're actually looking to get into more retailers on the west coast so if you happen to own a boat shop or something and you're interested in selling whaleys then give them a contact give them a shout they would probably be happy to have you guys sell these boats and these boats are freaking amazing i had these bow rails custom made by this rail maker in uh richmond california also uh orion rail makers yeah i had a inflatable pvc boat before yeah. and uh, i had to worry about i go fishing a lot so i'd have to worry about the hooks and stuff like that but sure. this you know, i'm good well, thank you. yeah see ya lost my train of thought well before i get too distracted let me show you one cool feature about this boat i know it's advertised as being incredibly sturdy indestructible almost but in case you do run up on some reef or something and this thing gets gouged out all the plastic gets gouged out you can fix it let me show you how you do that so when this boat was shipped to me it was kind of damaged during shipment and i was really disappointed in that but it turns out it was just cosmetic so there's a way to fix it if you do have damage to the boat let me show you real quick so i'm sure you could see this damage to the boat well since it is plastic all you got to do is take a heat gun with a little concentrator turn that thing on so you literally take a strip of the boat heat that up and it'll melt onto the boat and then you got a repaired boat well my dang machine isn't working for some reason out here i don't even know why i'm including this clip but i am now you know how to fix it if you do get damaged so one of the last things i'll talk about is this downrigger this is a lake troller used for kayaks I can just take this thing right off and if I want to I can put another rod holder here but the plan is to have a four pound weight downrigger ball on here have one rod shooting out straight back another one off to the side so I can stack them if I have two people and I'm thinking I'll have this one on the downrigger ball and I'll have this one on one of the attachments above maybe 10 feet above so I'm thinking if this one flips off first I don't know hopefully it doesn't get tangled and then i can just reel this this ball all the way back in so the lines don't get tangled i think that's how i'll do it anyway that's about it for this video this is the butter boat 2.0 all of the, everything's closed right now rockfish is closed salmon is closed halibut is closed pacific halibut at least so i'm waiting for the seasons to open in april and may once that opens i'll be out here on this thing a lot and i just want to apologize for the lack of videos a lot of things going on in my personal life but uh things should be slowing down in about three weeks so i'm going to try to get back on my old schedule at least one video a week i know i've been lacking slacking but i'm gonna try to get out there uh, as best as i can in about two to three weeks i'll still try to get as many videos as i can now but just wanted to give you guys this update finally i know i promised you guys that and also I'm still working on that beginner's fishing video that's coming up too. Anyway, thank you all for sticking with me through this time. And I will see you guys shortly, hopefully. Now, I was going to go out crabbing today, but it's just too windy. I don't know if you see all the things blowing up behind me, but yes, yeah, it's too windy. I heard they're biting around Half Moon Bay, Pacifica, even Ocean Beach. So I'll be out there, out there soon. Hopefully there'll be a crabbing video soon also. So. All right, guys. See you guys soon.